Yeah, nice to meet you. After two years, um, we haven't seen us. Um, it's really a great pleasure to be again on stage yeah, and in life, in person. So I would like to talk about uh, the degree project. Um, hopefully, I hope a lot of people of you here are aware what degree is. If not, I will try to give a short overview of it. Okay, so um, what I will talk about, so about me, who is it, who is speaking, uh, about degree, what are we doing, what is the current status of the project, um, what have we uh, recently implemented, um, the OGC API features, the outlook, what we are planning to do, and finally, questions and answers. Okay, yeah, my, no my name is Thorsten Frieber, I'm from Latlon. Uh, we have started the project degree um, quite a long time ago. Um, I was part of that initial implementation based on Java, simple features in the late 90s at the University of Bonn. And uh, we are the technical member of the OGC. Uh, we are taking care of the development of the OGC site team engine you may know. Um, that's the tool where you can validate if your services, if you have implemented services yourself, if they are valid, um, conform to the specification developed by OGC. Yeah, and um, what else? I'm a TMC member um, of the degree project. I have this time my TMC member Stefan and on the conference as well, the first time since years. Um, the third of us, um, Raya is also here, so you will see us maybe and if you have questions, just talk to us. So, open source software for spatial infrastructure. First, who knows degree? Who has ever heard of it? Uh, at least, oh, so I'm surprised. So more people know at least. Okay, who is using degree? That's the more harder question. Okay, that's what I expected. Mm. So there has definitely to change something today. Why? Yeah, that's the question. Why do we have to change this? Because it's really a long-standing project. Um, we have started, as I said, um, in the late 90s. Uh, we do have 20 years anniversary, uh, anniversary. Um, um, when we, yeah, 22 this year, uh, it's 20 years of that project. And over that time, we kept that project up and running. It's an open source project. It's published under an open source license, an LGPL, so a liberal open source license, easy to adopt, integrate in software. Um, it's an OSGEO project for more than 10 years where we started the incubation and yeah, since then we are part of that family. If you don't know, just go to the website on the OSGEO website and uh, read about our project. Why is it so important in that ecosystem of OGC standards? Because as I already said, we are focused on the standards. So every time when the OGC starts to talk about a new specification, we are part of it. So that means when a new standard comes and we decide that's a standard which fits good into degree, we are going to implement it. You can see it here on the badge on the right hand side, it says RI, reference implementation, what does it mean? Every time when the OGC starts a specification, it's looking for, in a short way, for at least three implementers, companies or projects, who are ready to implement that specification to validate that what is written in natural language, well, in a specification, is easy to implement. And, um, yeah, easy, not every time, but it's possible to implement, and that's what we are doing. So every time when we say, okay, a new specification fits into the degree project, we are going to implement it. Hopefully with a sponsor supporting us and financing the implementation. 
But at the end, we are then at least part of three uh, or two others um, implementers who are then um, validated by the team engine um, that we have implemented that specification and we are a reference implementation. So at least three implementation do exist for all these specifications and that's what degree does. And um, I really have to uh, implement that. We are the only open source project in the OSGEOS um, ecosystem who is implementing these nine um, OGC standards currently. Yeah? And that's, I think, uh, really a big, big um, advantage if you are relying on those standards and if that is important for you. So, some numbers about the degree project. Um, we already heard in the previous talks from Geo Network some stuff which is also a problem of us where we are looking for developers. Yeah? It's a secret, but um, if you are a developer and you're focused on open source software, we do have a GitHub project. Um, it's easily um, to, oh, easy to join us. Yeah? Just go to the website, uh, log in into GitHub, then you can immediately start and fork the project yeah? because you want to work on your own branch of your changes, bug fixes, whatever, and then you can contribute code to the project. Uh, that's really important. So you see, um, if you have been attending the online talk from last year's um, Phosphor G conference, so all numbers increased, which is good. Uh, every number increased, so simply said that. So it's 97 forks, so at least 97 people had forked the code and said, well, maybe someday I will work on it. Um, 114 people said, mm, well, seems to be an interesting project, so I make a star on it. So that gives us, um, yeah, it's giving us at least the feedback that people are out there using it and interested in working maybe in the future on it. So we have 22 watchers, which didn't increase that. Um, we have 24 contributors. We um, had, luckily, uh, new people joining the project and contributed code. Um, and the most important number here on that slide is that we released 10 bug fix releases this year. Yeah, So in 2022, 10 bug fix releases. So every 14 days, so bi-weekly, uh, we are meeting. We look if there is a security issue reported by the platform, so GitHub is providing functionality or services like that. Every time there is a um, sec yeah, security issue, we try to fix it as soon as possible. Yeah, and the outcome was that we have 10 bug fix releases um, in this year. So just make immediately the link to that page and check it out. Some more numbers about the project and the current re release version. Um, the major release version is 3.4. Um, the 3.4.32 is the current bug fix version. Um, compared to the initial 3.0 version, it contains a lot of enhancements and a lot of bug fixes. Yeah? So over the time where we developed that version, um, more than 80 enhancements has been implemented and uh, yeah, a couple of bug fixes as well. Yeah? Because software is not bug free, yeah? it's um, unfortunately part of um, software development. So a lot of bug fixes as well have been provided. So the question is if you want to use it, um, just to say that as well, um, there's a Docker image um, compatible with all open container platforms. Uh, you're not real, you don't have to rely on Docker. Um, you can download it from Docker Hub. Uh, we are providing a Docker file in our repository. It makes it definitely easier to download the right software. Um, I will talk about it uh, on the next slides, why it's so important, because it's a Java-based application. It relies on the Java JDK, and it relies on uh, Tomcat, for example, as a servlet container. 
So it's important that you have the right versions all together. Yeah, and Docker makes it definitely either. So give it a try, it's just one line of code you have to enter in your command shell and then it runs. More information, of course, again on the website. Um, it's half a year ago, no, it's eight months ago that <laughs> one big, big security issue was really making a lot of trouble in in open source in IT, and uh, I hopefully uh, I hope that you already heard about it. If not, then run at home and fix your software because a log4j really has a great security leak. At that time, it was December last year, um, and of course we are not of course, but unfortunately we were affected as well the degree project because we used log4j for logging, uh, which is a simple stuff, uh, which most applications do. So um, what we did, uh, we immediately fixed that. Um, we tried to keep up with the changes by the Log4j team. Um, and the yeah, most important information today is that we decided to move away from Log4j in the future. So there is an issue on GitHub where we talk about it, why we are doing this, um, because, yeah, what we can see here, that was the main reason. We want to make logging, which is a core facility of an application, much more easier and not like the guys from Log4j are currently doing. Um, so that's the plan for the future to get rid of Log4j. Um, so when you um, go to GitHub, you can um, access there the most recent version of the 3.4 line um, for download and the WAR file and as I said already, the Docker file is on Docker Hub. Most important here is we decreased D, so less, less um, than before, um, the size of the WAR file by <laughs> 30 megabytes. Um, it was due to, a, I would say, a, an error in packaging some stuff which we collected for all the standards, also from the OGC website. And yeah, and it was collecting and collecting over the time and suddenly we, we noticed, oh, it's growing and growing. Why is it growing? And um, yeah, we found that error. It's making it um, much lighter. And uh, now it fits, um, thanks to OSGEO Life, they ask us why it was so drastically increased compared to the previous version we deployed with OSGEO Life, and say, oh yeah, we didn't notice. So again, even those obvious things, we do not notice then every time. So give us feedback if you notice, aha, there's something changing, which you do not expect, just ask and sometimes you may identify like an issue like that one, yeah? it, that it grows uh, unexpected. Yeah, now talking about what is currently um, still under development, um, the TMC members and friends, I would call them, we have met in a code sprint this year in May at the Linux Hotel in Germany. And over, let's say, a longer weekend, we prepared the new version 3.5. Um, so we released um, what we call a developer version, a snapshot, which you can download. And why is it so important? Um, as I said, we are a project, uh, a Java project started 20 years ago. So we have codes in the repository quite old. Yeah, and they started, I think it was Java 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, so very, very early in the beginnings of Java. And um, we really focus on keeping the codes up to date, the libraries we are using and the runtime environment we are using. So on the 3.4 line, uh, you can still use um, an OpenJDK 8 with the Tomcat A5, for example, but if you want to move to the new version 3.5 of degree, um, you have to move to Java 11 and the 
corresponding uh, self-led container, which could be Tomcat 9 or even higher. Um, that's very important. Again, uh, we are making things easy by providing uh, Docker images where all the codes and the containers fit together. And uh, here's a screenshot from, um, of a wiki page we, we update um, um, that is giving you also the um, versions of the databases we are supporting, so Postgres, SQL, and PostGIS, as well as Oracle and MS SQL Server, because all those have to be aligned and moved together to newer versions. So important um, page on our wiki, links are provided on the slides. If you want to download, um, um, you can search um, for it in our um, Nexus repository. That's an artifact repository where all the codes, um, binaries are provided. You can um, download um, the latest nightly build from our build server, um, where we, during that code sprint, um, did also some updates. So keeping the software, how to build this um, degree itself up to date, and keeping the whole infrastructure um, yeah, at um, the most recent version. Why is it so important or interesting to upgrade to degree 3.5? Um, simply because it comes with some features. Um, um, there are 39 enhancements. Um, we collected, I don't, uh, can, no, no, it's not collection, it's um, we we put all the changes um, which affected the configuration of degree on a stack and said, okay, we will merge those pull requests later in time. And we decided uh, a couple of years ago already to say, okay, they will go into 3.5. And this now has happened in, during the code sprint in May. We have now all those collected feature enhancements which are changing the configuration files in that 3.5 version included. Um, in, I don't I decided not to list all the enhancements because who can remember those 39 enhancements after that talk? Nobody. Um, but most Notable is that um, WFS uh, 2.0 now supports uh, GeoJSON um, as an encoding, and um, recent version of Postgres and PostGIS are supported as well. And as I said, most important is that version changes the configuration files of degree, so pay attention if you upgrade, you really have to look on our how to upgrade wiki page, uh, because it contains some breaking changes due to um, necessary and really needed upgrades of libraries we have done in 3.5. One very important extension and feature of Degree is that it contains now um, implementation of OGC API features and um, that I want to show you um, very shortly. Um, it is um, Oops, part of degree now, and we aligned the two versions because we started already that implementation um, earlier on, on a new stack of libraries. So um, as I said, it's, there's a standard by the OGC out. Uh, we have been uh, implementer of that standard. Uh, we are reference implementation, and uh, you can read uh, all about this on the website. And here again, the compliance patch uh, says that it's uh, compliant to the two core standards of OGC API features. Um, it's supporting that implementation um, encodings for GeoJSON, JSON, HTML, and GML. And um, also we took from the Inspire download service based on um, OGC API for features, um, what is it uh, called, a uh, recommendation paper, um, the extension for bulk downloads and to couple metadata. So for example, if you do have your metadata and geo network, that's the way, for example, here to serve your download services with degree OGC API features and to couple these two um, frameworks together. So 
Short impression, um, here the information where to download. Um, again, it's downloadable from the website on GitHub. We do have, a, yeah, as I said, it's a developer version still, um, 1.3 snapshot based on degree 3.5. Um, you can download it. You, we have a, the reference implementation is publicly available, so you can go to that site, try it out, see how it, uh, it works. Um, documentation is there, and when you do have a degree workspace already for a WFS based on a Postgres database, it's really simple, um, only a few steps. I talked about that uh, last year. Um, just check that presentation and um, set up um, an OGC API features um, service with degree. How will it look like? Um, that's um, the HTML view of that OGC API um, user front end. Yeah. OGC API is more a technical interface because it provides JSON and GeoJSON, which is not intended for humans to read, but it also provides an HTML um, front end and uh, it makes it really easy to access data. Yeah? You can browse through your data sets and um, when you say, oh, okay, I would like to have that in JSON or in GML, just click on that and you will get the data in that format. Yeah, the best way is to um, have a look on our demo on our server and um, yeah, give it a try by downloading uh, the version or use the Docker image available, um, configure it and um, it's really not so difficult to configure um, a new service. You have to deal with our configuration files. That's, I think, the only obstacle in that activity. So finally, what's the outlook? Um, we are planning to release 3.50 final, um, hopefully this year, <laughs> soon, soon, very soon. We will see what we are getting done maybe on that weekend here at the OSGEO Code Sprint. Um, there are some other activities still planned. I will focus on Saturday if you are going to join me support for Java 17 uh, and uh, the recent version of Tomcat um, because we have to keep uh, up to date with the technologies we are using. So that's uh, what's going hopefully to happen in the future. And yeah, for all those who are saying, okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that there's a wonderful project called Degree. Um, we are looking for contributions. Um, there are more than 65 open tickets um, on GitHub labeled. Just have a look. Some of them are labeled with easy, hard, yeah, and you can decide on that level uh, if you want to start with a hard or a more an easier task. So contributions are welcome, um, code, documentation, or simply testing the software. Um, and for yeah, all those activities, um, we are looking for sponsors yeah, um, to pay a developer because not everything is done automatically. So no AI is writing the code. It's um, still humans uh, doing the codes. Um, so we have to keep the codes 20 years old, uh, up to date. Um, we are looking for funding. Um, the OSGEO has started last year an initiative that all projects are providing a donation button. We did also, and you can choose it um, if you go via GitHub or the OSGEO. Just support the project. If you would like to read more about uh, sponsorship of that project, here's the wiki page. Yeah, that's it, and uh, thank you for your attention.